So ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my great pleasure and privilege to be here and we have a very esteemed panel this morning. Very excited to be in partnership with some of the leaders in our field who've just had uh, an experience of um, enlivening their uh, community, their vision, their skills, their mindset. And it's, it's amazing um, to be able to offer. So what um, our new executive director, Jenny Messenger, has launched is something called the MBA, the Manitech Business Academy. Its inaugural meeting was um, just over a week ago. And these are some of the fine, upstanding leaders who put their hand up to share their experience, their knowledge, their learning, and their future inspiration for themselves and their Manitech business. Um, so I will hand over to Diana because she's going to start with um i'll just text her since diana seems to be unable to hear us this morning she's going to start you know one of the things that happened um diana is when i logged into zoom one of the problems was it tried to update it forced me to update it and then it failed so maybe there's a, a new zoom update that's causing some technical problems so we'll try and work that out but diana is going to give us an overview um about the content the flow and more of a the facts of the weekend before everybody has an opportunity to share their experience. So Diana. So welcome everyone. <laughs> uh, after I do my bit, I'll log out and log back in so I can um, make sure I can hear everyone. Um, so yes, last weekend, it's great to see uh, uh, some of the leaders faces there. We I shared the weekend with last weekend. I feel full in my heart to see you. And so that tells me that uh, you know, not only did we get some wonderful education there, uh, we developed a, a further deeper bonding with our community. And I think that was one of the tremendous values for me out of the weekend. Uh, so yes, we had our Manitech Business Academy, which really is uh, designed as a business and leadership training for executive directors and above for those that chose to attend. And we had it at the Crown Plaza at Hawkesbury Valley. So sort of out in the um, the, the regional area behind uh, Sydney, it was beautiful, a stunning venue and the service there was incredible, uh, really demonstrated uh, what great customer service is all about. Uh, the program was led by Jenny Messenger, who of course is our executive director, our new executive director of, of Australasia. And Sandy Canton, who many of you will know, she's a network marketing business consultant and leadership trainer. And they combined their expertise uh, along with a good dose of fun and inspiration uh, to deliver an outstanding program. And I'm gonna give you just, just the bare bones of that and the other leaders are gonna give you some of the details of their experience uh, from within that. Uh, it was, an, you know, I would call the whole weekend absolutely delightful. Uh, there was 23 leaders, business leaders, Manitech associates who attended. And uh, also some of our corporate family, uh, Jason, Mar Jason Markey, uh, Olivia Seberg and Sarah Wardrobe also attended over the weekend. Uh, there was two main themes delivered. Uh, firstly, identifying personality types and that was largely presented by Jenny. And the other was uh, information on leadership levels which was presented by Sandy Canton. The personality types was based on the model by Alison Mooney. She wrote a book called Pressing the Right Buttons. And really the main uh, message or, or theme there is that no one's right, wrong, good, bad. We're all just different. We all deliver um, value in our difference to the team. The leadership levels was based on um, John Maxwell's five levels of leadership information. And then there was one independent speaker during the weekend on the Saturday, and that was a lady called Sam Lees. And she is an online marketing expert. And she gave us uh, some tips on uh, successful online marketing and then offered uh, for us to participate in her boot camp at a very special uh, discounted rate. And uh, many of the leaders took up her offer. Uh, over the weekend, there was two group dinners. Uh, on the Friday night, we had a little bit of a fun exercise to do together, and I'm sure some of the participants will share on that. 
And uh, then we shared some delicious canapes and pizza in an outdoor setting. And on the Saturday night, we had a, a special formal dinner. We had an exclusive, uh, very large dining room and we sat around a, a group sort of rectangular table together. It was a wonderful family atmosphere and we had beautiful gourmet buffet uh, to experience there. Uh, and then just a little bit more on the personality type. So we were given a survey to complete to identify our core personality type. And they are basically the peaceful, playful, powerful, and precise. Probably easy to guess that I'm in the peaceful <laughs> arena. So that means, you know, some of my traits are good listener, approachable, nurturing, dependable. And I'm going to leave the leaders to share their personality types because they're the experts in that. Uh, and then we looked into the main drivers of the individual personality types and were given two exercises. So we needed to choose a, someone who is a different personality type to us. And we had two exercises. One was to invite them to the JP Costa Roadshow that's coming out, uh, coming up at the end of October, beginning of November, which was a great exercise. And also to respond to someone who's inquired about uh, a business advertisement that we've had there out, out there. Again, you know, we, we were able to speak to that other personality type based on, you know, what is it that they respond to? You know, what's their best communication style that they're going to relate to? And then with the leadership le uh, levels, we completed a survey that gave us a sense of where we were on that leadership scale. And very basically, there are one to five levels. Some of you may have read uh, his work. Uh, and really, it starts at the, the corporate leader, you know, who people are working for, but they're just playing to the rules. There's no real connection with that leader. Uh, progressing through uh, leaders who have more social skill and connection with their team. Uh, and then the other levels are based on developing systems for leverage and also our leadership skills that raise uh, other leaders up to be um, greater leaders. So again, I'm sure uh, uh, our corporate team, that uh, our team that have arrived uh, here this morning will share their experience of the leadership training. And then on day three, uh, Jenny engaged us in feedback on various business initiatives that she has um, on the table. And I, you know, I personally felt reassured uh, that we're back to that very consultative approach to the field of uh, what uh, Manatech are delivering for us. And then just a final comment here, I'll, I'll have my share a bit later, but a final comment, I found, uh, you know, I left feeling that Jenny is carefully strategizing uh, business development for Manatech and support to um, us as leaders and uh, with the view of raising Manatech up to greater success here in Australasia. And I personally left feeling relaxed and, you know, solidly comfortable um, in going back to my business and taking it to um, greater heights. So with that, I'm going to hand over to our first uh, speaker, which is Rhonda. And I'm uh, Sharon, I'll hand over to you to interview uh, Rhonda and I'm going to log out and log back in. Thanks, Dana. Thank you so very much. So rising above the challenges of technology and another challenge we have this morning is looking after our family and Rhonda has to race out the door. So she's going, normally I go alphabetically, but <laughs> today we're going to go Rhonda first. So Rhonda, um, your experience, you know, I think it's good if we all start with, you know, our leadership level and um, um, edifying our upline. Um, so that people can get to, you know, know us more deeply across the board. So Rhonda. Okay. Um, I'm a gold executive is my top qualification and my team leader is the awesome Karen Dennis. And uh, I was introduced to Manatech by Sue Skinner, who's a, been a very close personal friend for quite some time. And I have to say, I think we've got one of the greatest team leaders in Karen Dennis. She really works for her people and she really fights for us when she thinks we're not getting the, um, 
when, it, when things aren't going as they should be. <laughs> you want me just to talk or are you going to ask questions? Well, I know that you're hurrying, so I won't inter, I'll just go, go with the flow. I know we discussed some okay. ideas. Okay. I thoroughly enjoyed the weekend. Um, I think one of the things with being in business, being in your own business and working basically from home, sometimes you can feel a little bit isolated. Um, I, we've got the calls, we've got much more available now with the technology, but going to events in person is really reconnecting and personally collect, connecting with the people in the team. And I think we all get inspiration from each other. We get um, energy and enthusiasm and ideas. Um, one of the things that inspired me most is the way Jenny approaches what she's doing for Manatech and having Jenny and Sandy working together is a really formidable team. You know, the, the ladies are amazing. And the, the, back, the corporate team was really great too. You know, Olivia was jumping up, doing what had to be done. Things just happened um, efficiently and smoothly. And the presentation was really great. Um, I like Jenny's idea, Jenny's results focused and Jenny thinks and plans. And I found her manner, um, she didn't sort of jump in and demand what everybody was going to do. She started off gently, uh, getting the feel for where people were, very much somebody wanting to work with the team and listen to what the people in the field are saying. But her wealth of experience was obvious. And um, I think she got a bit more comfortable with all of us as the time went through. But she's, the things she's planning are thought, well thought out and well planned with a good end in mind. So it's not just let's try this, let's try that. Let's try this and measure what's happening. It's got to be results focused. And our growth in Australia has been a bit flat. And we're looking forward to having that a bit reinvigorated. I really liked the time. I found, one thing I found really interesting this time, I've done a number of these self-development courses and trainings and so forth. And I felt very unthreatened this time. Usually I, I find them a little bit uncomfortable and a bit in your face. And I don't know whether that's because I've grown through the things I've done, but that, that's something I observed like outside of myself. I don't know whether the method was different or whether it's accumulation. So sometimes we've done courses and we think oh, I've done that, I know that, I do the other. And even if you get from another one, the feeling that wow, you know, it, it does make a difference. It has changed things. I think that's beneficial. It's a good measure of knowing where you're going and what's happening. I personally want to be more focused with Facebook for lead generation. Um, I did get involved with MLife last year. We um, did quite a bit with it, but I've had a very interesting year this year. So business has not taken a front seat business has largely looked after itself this year and thank god it's Manatech because they keep sending me money even though I haven't been growing business I've spent all we're still doing it we're not over it yet it's been a look after Ron year since February so if it was a regular job we'd really truly be up the creek by now absolutely and I certainly could not have provided the necessary care for him going through all of this business that we've had this year so look after your business keep keep yourself going and even while it's not growing Manatech still pays you money and it you know that's a really good feeling when things are being especially difficult um, the personality understanding was very beneficial and not only did we do an exercise with people of a different type we then had a debrief about how it felt for the person being spoken to and what was missing out of what was said for that person to understand what or, or to take the call to action to actually come and be encouraged and it's very easy to be focused on our style and how we like to be spoken to but it's a challenge that you need to think of who you're speaking to and do they want to know the facts and figures does it have to be fun? Hey, Christy. 
<laughs> Does it have to be um, touchy-feely? And you just modify the way you speak and the words you use to tailor for your audience. And one of the things that came through very strongly with Sam and uh, Jenny and Sandy is that the basis of all of this is relationship. And people don't care what you know till they know you care. And whether you're working on Facebook, whether you're talking to people, first you need to get to understand the person a little bit and give them the feeling that you really do care for them, that you're not just looking for something else to add to your bottom line. That what and, and with our business, it is a caring business. You know, we're here, we're helping people, we're helping the children, we're really making the world a better place. And that's a good thing to remember as well. So focus on relationships, focus on what the other person's doing and thinking. Have I tucked all, ticked all the boxes? And I'll give you what's in my heart now because I won't be here at the end of it, we'll be at the physiotherapist. But in my heart, it's just I just love this company and this business. And one fact, one piece of information we were given and when I was talking to my niece after the conference, she actually looked up the, the page where the review of multi-level marketing companies and how good they are. We're number two, and it's not just on delivering what we promise, it's overall. It's how much you pay, it's whether they're ethical, it's whether they deliver what they promise. There's a multitude of criteria, and Manatech came up number two, and one of the comments in the survey was, they actually pay money. You know, people at a very low director level are making over $1,000 a month. So understand what we've got. And another thing that, that came up in that survey was the ethics of the company. And I've seen over the years I've been involved with Manatech, if there's a, a wobble from some company who thinks they're doing the wrong thing and they're being investigated, Manatech looks at that and then makes sure that we're moving ahead of the, the change in game. So we introduce things to our business that are look like they're coming that can certainly impact on our business. So understand just just the, the value of the company that we're working with on every level of the business. I think I've probably gone over my time, Sharon. I do apologize. Um, <laughs> Obviously I'm not a shy withdrawing type. <laughs> well right, it was your timing. Um, that was perfect timing for us and I know you have to race to get Ron and what a good testament to our business in that um, Yes, you know, I can see Aaron having to manage some stuff in his home and you've got to, you've got to look after Ron and you can still build a business and do it from home. It's just amazing. I've got a sleepover happening of nine-year-olds today and they're out there under their usual threat of, you know, you don't come in here unless it's a snake, a fire or a burglar. <laughs> and so we've all got our fingers crossed that things go smooth and we still, you know, can be successful and earn income in partnership with Magic. So Rhonda, thank you for fitting us in this morning. I really appreciate it. And Sharon, I have to say that one of our great resources is this Saturday call that you and the team do every week. We are truly blessed with your commitment. And it's not just a commitment, it's quality. It's not just you do it. It's top quality, top draw. And we have confidence that we can send anybody to this platform to learn about the business, the people and the products. Mm. Thank you. Well, so Rhonda, be quickly before you go, I'm with my computer challenges today. I've got my, all my information on one I only have here, but I'm pretty sure by memory, it's um, Kevin Robbins next week. And I, I'll just give a call to action to everybody today um, before you have to leave is that Put, give yourself a goal to invite, you know, one to multiple guests next week. He's going to be talking about our business and why it is worth it. Highly acclaimed talk, highly acclaimed speaker. And this will give you something, again, top, top drawer. Kevin is amazing. So I'll give you a, a challenge for the week. Yeah, well done. I've All got right. about 10 minutes before I have to dash. So I'll listen, a little for the, okay, I'll listen in okay. for a little while. Thank you, Rob. So Aaron, your experience of um, the weekend. You, you're still muted, so you might have to change. Can I get that for you? Got it. Perfect. So first of all, what was your highlights of the weekend? I know it was, you know, I've heard quite a few people now because we talked about on our team call last week, but I love to hearing people's different experience. 
Yeah, so <clears throat> so Lee and I, we became Silver Executives uh, just last month uh, because of the double points and the uh, CANS incentive. Uh, it's a big uh, shout out to our upline, James, uh, James Hanna and Naomi Joy. Uh, they are an amazing team. We've got a, a host of other people under them. We've got Sandra Spence. We've got Sharon, Sharon Hannon that was um, there also. You know, so, uh, you know, if it wasn't for our upline, and it wasn't just the one upline, but it's all of our upline that we can that that we can get part of the whole team. Um, so, <clears throat> so it was really super exciting. You know, Jenny, uh, Jenny invited Lee and I along. You know, congrat congratulated us on being uh, silver exec executives. So we decided to come along. Is our little daughter? Uh, so, so Vanna <clears throat> and um, so what was really super exciting about the uh, was about the event is that. Uh, not only being invited, but knowing that events boost your business. And then we know that going to events, uh, we went to the Australasian uh, conference down in Adelaide in Feb, in Feb, and then 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 our then, then our business got boosted. Then we went on another uh, team uh, event back in uh, July, the end of July, and that boosted us again. And that's how we got to the silver executive level. So. But my uh, personal highlight for the weekend was um, I really enjoyed listening to Sandy. Um, I'm pretty sure Sandy was the was the lady who did the keynote sp uh, speech down at the Australasian conference, I think. Um, so it was really good being able to listen to her, listen to her uh, talking about John Maxwell. John Maxwell is a favourite leadership guy that I like to listen to. So knowing about the five leadership levels. Um, and then watch, uh, and that's, that was really super, super, super exciting. And then um, the, the, the dinners, you know, having the dinners was fun and just being able to talk with uh, all the other uh, executives and, uh, pres and uh, pre presidentials, you get to, cause we're all got different businesses and we've all got the, and um, so we're all doing the business differently. It's good to just to glean off them and get little ideas about what they do and how they end interact with people. Um, I really enjoyed that it was um, it was only a few people, like as she said, there's only 23 people there. So it was really, um, really tight knit. Everybody had a chance to speak and get listened to, which was really super important also. Um, so that was a definite highlight for, um, for me there. Uh, also on the Sunday, being had, having the uh, corporate talking with us, that was really good, knowing that um, that they're there to teach us, you know, and I liked um, how they gave us the systems because without the systems, we can't scale our business and we can't grow our business. So it was good to get those little systems that we can continue to grow. Um, yeah, so that was super, 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 super good. I'm just trying to think what else. Um, do you have anything to say? Oh, please, they run, run, uh, running mm -hmm. around. Um, so what's uh, so so for for me what what Lee and I've really been encouraged to is that we're going to really uh, connect with our uh, with our down with our uh, downline. We've done it on a few associates, uh, super excited ones. As you need you need you need those associates that are really super keen. Um, and then we they talked about the uh, Pareto's law. I think it was the eighty twenty where uh, eighty percent of the people. Uh, sorry, no, no, 20% of the people do 80% of the work. So it was really good to learn about that and how to focus on that. So, you know, we're going to, Lee and, Lee and I, we're going to really focus on um, finding those few associates that are really business builders, but also wanting to build up those other ones there. Uh, for anybody out there, what you really need to do is you need to come along to these events. I really enjoyed how Jenny was saying, she's got like a timeline from, uh, the conference going through to the next conference each year. You, uh, there's little these little incentives, little targets coming up, little uh, leadership levels, and it's going to progress to come into the event next year. And uh, one thing's for sure, if you can come along to the event, you've got to come along. <laughs> Manatech has put in so much into it. The price point is really good, you know, and then what I find is that 
you know, just the, the, the meals, the, the, the room set up, the information given out, the handouts, the books, everything was just so, just excellence. So that's about, about it for me. Perfect. And um, Lee, thanks for backing Erin up. Fantastic to be able to work together as a family, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Yeah. You can really understand it. So we'll come back to you, Erin, but thank you so very much. Thank you. And Karen, Stacy, you have to unmute yourself. Done. <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> Welcome, thanks for being here and putting your hand up. And so what was, what was your highlights for you on the weekend? Oh, there were a number, as people have indicated, a lot of fun in that with it. Um, I'll just give a little bit of background first myself. I joined Manatech about 20 years ago um, because of the science and the power of what was potentially discovered and that Manatech had the natural form for the body's optimal response. And I just thought, wow, wow, this is gonna be phenomenal. And so watching and being part of this wonderful company for over the years and meeting so many people, it's just gone from strength to strength. And so there may have been some ups and downs maybe with the business side, but it, the foundation is just so strong and the impact on people has been mind blowing all those years. Uh, so the personal highlight for me as indicated was a part of the personality type. So I'm wearing my yellow. It's so much easier to identify people's personality styles if they've got a scarf on at the color. You know, you're talking to a playful person, that's what the yellow stands for. Or the red for the powerful, green for the peaceful, and blue for those very precise people. So as soon as you saw the colors, you knew what sort of language you needed to use. Uh, so it makes it easy. Otherwise, you've got to listen to all the words and, and take people and, and talk to them a lot. But it's great fun. <laughs> uh, so, yes, um, the highlight there was talking to the other members that were participating and hearing their stories and testimonials and the power and impact that glycan technology has on their lives. Uh, it's just in between the activities of what we were doing, we had time to talk to each other and really hear how wide and diverse um, this company is to be able to help. So uh, there was a lot of energy and excitement. I guess you can't gather that at all. Uh, it was really, really good. And um, yeah, ready to roll with the business side. So Excellent. things have changed for me with regard to the business. Yeah. Um, the, from the Strong Science Foundation, the business now see, is really exciting everything is falling into place. And as Aaron said, there's the annual um, calendar of events to be able to focus on, get people going, keep the momentum going. There's opportunities for the leaders to get assistance, to help with events for their particular team as well. And it's really a case of drawing a line in the sand, stepping forward and into the exciting future. And the other aspect I really liked um, that's changed for the business was with regard to the focus on customer experience and ensuring that there's heaps of support uh, from corporate, from the team, from your upline, everyone involved. And the, the guide, success guide, giving step-by-step -step instructions on where people can get started. So there's a lot of structure, a lot of support and just the excitement to go forward um, with all of that. So, yeah, it'll be really, really good. I might mute out. There's a phone in the background. Sorry. That's okay. Um, Karen, we might come back to you. That's not a problem. So we do recognize that we have whole um, families uh, available to us at home when we're doing these things. So that's all very fine. So, Christy. You're still muted. Unmute there you are. Can you hear me? Yeah, well done. Can you hear me? You're a little bit breaking up. I have, I'm in the country. I haven't got very good internet. Am I okay? Yeah, that's louder that way. Yep. Go yep. ahead. So, so you no, know, your leadership level and your upline and then your highlights from the weekend. Okay. So um, I would like to acknowledge um, my presidential in Judy Abbott, Judy and Trevor Abbott. So I'm from Adelaide. I, my role was my sister-in-law, Karen Nichols. I have achieved a gold executive director and I've been with Manatech, I think, seven years. And um, 
I started on the product oh, probably about 10, 13 years ago. Um, it was the business that the business opportunity was looking for. So I actually um, got involved with Manatech for, for the business, really. Um, <clears throat> now, the highlight, and everyone's covered an awful lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to speak from my personal experience, and that is... Um, for a start, the, the fact that I invested in myself to get there, I think is um, a, a big highlight. I think we need to invest in ourselves in these sort of things to grow and to get yourself there is, is the first step. Um, uh, what I, the highlight for me throughout, it was actually, <laughs> I can't pick a highlight because it was a whole package. It was almost like, um, we need all these little bits um, to grow a big business. And um, I loved Sam Lee's with her Facebook training. Um, I've bought her her training and I have plugged into that already, even though I've, only yesterday because I've been at a market since, since then. Um, the leadership uh, presentation was really great to understand where we're at on the, leader, the leadership um, level. Sometimes we think that we're really good and we're probably a level five leader. I uh, got smashed with a uh, sledgehammer realising I'm only a number two, really. Um, <laughs> and, and, and I think I've walked, and I walked away from there realising that we do overcomplicate things. Like I overcomplicate things and think that there's another shiny object to, um, to use but if we just go back to basics plug into a very simple system um uh, and and understanding there's different personalities out there like everyone's talked about the personality test and yes i'm a yellow i'm a fun <laughs> i'm the i'm the playful one and that's probably why you and karen are here <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's it pigment. but the thing is is what it really highlighted to me yeah, it's okay to understand you know to understand personalities and taken on face value but to use it in your business to realize that you use this even in your communication so you know you, you probably um, write an email to send out to your whole team to invite them to an event but you um, th that that way you've written your email is probably your personality and it's not going to click with some of the people in your team. So to understand the personality traits and adapt that around who you've known in your team, you might have to write three emails for different personalities in your team, if that makes sense, so that your language resonates with them. Like in my practice session, I invited someone to have a presentation at the pub. And they, were, <laughs> they were really a nice, peaceful person and would probably like to go to a nice little quiet coffee shop. So, um, yeah, just understanding the personalities in your business and how to relate to them was um, a big highlight. Um, uh, what else was there? What else did I want to say? So what I've done I've come, since I've been back, I've actually connected with a couple of my team members just to, um, you know, get them to see what their goal is, what they want. Um, when we receive the resources from this weekend, I want to sit and we did have to do what we thought our, our, our downline or our, 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 um, our leaders were personality wise and take a stab in the dark and now I want them to do the same test we did to work out how how close we were and and then give them the resources that we got to part like then use in their in their um in their um uh, what else was there the accommodation was great the food was lots of it <laughs> um yeah it was from a few people yeah there was just kept there coming. Was a lot of food. But the whole, the whole, I just think it's Jenny and the corporate team are doing, you know, it's all about taking action. And I think Jenny and the corporate team, they're taking action by um, giving us these, these tools, these trainings as a platform to grow. Um, and, and they can't do it for us. The only people that can do it is us. 
So we need to take, as a group of 23 people, we need to take what we learned from this weekend, pass it on to our downline so that they can grow and they really need to be at the next one. That means they've grown to then get their lot to the next one after that. And it's the only way Manatech's going to grow, Manatech Australasia. We have got such great um, product knowledge, um, product information, you know, with, with this call and YouTube and, and there is, and Dr. Nugent's all Dr. New trainings. This now on the business side of it, and I think Manatech has been all sort of very much product focused. And as I said before, I joined for the business. So I'm just so excited that we're starting to bring um, a platform for our businesses to grow and the tools and stuff for that. So the only way we can support Jenny in this is to, and, and the corporate team is to do take the action because that is <laughs> the only thing that's going to um, grow our business. And, and so it's what I've done when I've walked away from here, I've walked away knowing that I've got to simplify it, I've got to plug in, create a very simple system, do the action required, get leaders to the next event next year and work with, as someone said, work with the 20% the that are doing 80% of the work. Mm. And I think that, unless you've got something else, is all for me. Well, there, you know, there's a very clear theme coming through. So we're, you know, about 10, a week out from the event and I'm sure... If you're um, a, an attendee today, just put your hand up if you can feel the intention, the clarity, the inspiration that these people are experiencing. And this isn't, we, yeah, see, look at all the hands going up. This, is, this isn't a false kind of experience. This is true that you can, we can't, we are responsible to transform ourselves and to nourish ourselves with, Dinah's going around in circles. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, but we can hear you now. <laughs> Sorry about that. To everybody um but yeah it's like like we have we've got to put the good food into our brain as well as into our body and it, i you can really hear how impacted everybody's been so you know one of the things that i um my challenges to the our guests today is to what's the call to action for others how should, how important is it for you to rise yourself up to the leadership level that makes you and uh able to be invited to this event you know and you can hear it here it's this kind of intent and this kind of posture that take, it will take you to the next level. So just listen up, listen again, and partner with Manatech. So thank you, Christy. I'll come back to you, but that, that was wonderful. Thank you. You know, I can tell I haven't done the test yet. Dinah gave it to me, and I was unable to be at the event. I'm probably a peaceful, I would imagine. And I'm, as, as Christy's talking, I'm going, why do I need people to have fun? You just show up. You do the right thing. <laughs> So yeah, I'd probably have to write about five different emails, <laughs> trying to imagine myself with the other personality. So Diana, your husband. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. I'm now on my iPad because for some reason there's no sound on my computer, but I'm determined to contribute. <laughs> well done. Yes, yes. Um, so I missed everything you said, Sharon, but it sounds like uh, we were saying how we join Manatech and our leadership levels. So. Um, a silver presidential. I've been with Manatech uh, since the beginning. Uh, Sharon uh, heard about this company at a dinner party and suggested I have a look. Initially, uh, it was for my health and helped me with my health. Um, the product certainly did. And uh, I became a very passionate advocate about the products. And as time has gone by, things have evolved and I've become very passionate about the business and what that's delivered into my life in terms of um, personal freedom and also a business where I'm delivering true value uh, into other people's lives, whether it be other products for their health or for um, my business leaders to support them in personal freedom, whatever um, that is for them. Um, the, uh, I love the Business Academy. I, like, um, I wasn't going to go when I first saw it. I said, I'm not going to that. <laughs> Just, you know, it's a financial commitment. Um, but everything in my life, okay, I said, all right, if I'm meant to go th for, to this, let that, you know, be obvious to me. And within two or three days, things happen in my life. They said, you go. Um, so I committed and I'm so glad I did. And uh, one of the things I love about our Manatech events is the community experience. And certainly this one was designed to deepen that bonding 
uh, with the leadership community and I, I, I think it delivered that. Um, that. That is so valuable to the success of our company as a whole is that we're all on the same page and supporting each other, um, which is the heart of our business. Um, on a personal note, I love the doing the personality profiles. I've done personality profiles for about 30 years, different kinds. Uh, it's always adds value to be reminded, you know, what your core personality is, but you know, what others are and how to better communicate um, and appreciate the differences. The exercises, one of the things that Sandy and Jenny had us do was uh, attempt to identify our own leaders personality types if we gave that some thought and so when I looked at that I realized I had no powerfuls in my business leadership team so when it came to the exercises I thought I'm going to pick a powerful person because I know that's an area of weakness for me in communication so I picked Karen Dennis <laughs> brave boots on um, and I fumbled and bumbled around, I'll assure you, and I did not hit the money. <laughs> but interestingly enough, Karen had some challenges with me. Uh, so it was a really steep <laughs> but valuable learning curve between us in how to better speak to a powerful, which is to go to the bottom line, uh, and best speak to a peaceful, which is, you know, to really, uh, you know, go to, you know, talk more about who they are as a human being and you know really engage and bring that out they're sort of opposite personality types um, so uh, I'm we are bringing that back to our team and I've already sent out the survey uh, for all of our joint leadership teams to do that and then also do some exercises because not only understanding them but then doing the exercises really brought it home and I know that's going to do that for our team so that's one thing that we're integrating uh, the other thing that I'm bringing back is I'm going back to each of my leaders and reviewing their goals uh, because I think there was a question asked over the weekend, you know, do you, are you clear on all your leaders' goals? And my answer in my head was definitely I'm not up to date. So I've already booked appointments with my leaders to step through uh, their, goal, their goals again or get into present time with that. Uh, the other thing that came out of the leadership levels for me, um, John Maxwell's work, is one of his points was, you know, who you're bringing into your team, it counts. And what affects that is really being clear on who you want to bring into your team. So I'm going to go back and write a list of my ideal business partner so that I've got my focus uh, clear on what I'm wanting to magnetize into our team. Uh, so I'm yet to do that. And then the other uh, angle of that, I was having a conversation with Sandy Canton over one of the meals, one of the many meals. Uh, and she reflected to me that maybe my story, I've been with the company for 20 years and the strength of my story was in my product result uh, back then and still is but maybe my story has evolved and that I could bring in my business story more uh, to what I have to say. And I hope I did that effectively, more effectively at the start today than I have in the past. Um, and so that's my intention to, to think about and, and reflect and change the emphasis of my story, which now is more about the business. And certainly if I'm looking for business leaders, it needs to have that aspect within it. Uh, and also, uh, one of the things that was shared was uh, Jenny's version of the, the 90 day business plan. And it was a really simplified version. We can make that available to anyone, I'm sure. Uh, basically, it had, you know, your, your objectives, your activities and your results. And you can do that. You can do that month to month. You don't have to do a 90 day plan, but it, it has things more focused. So I'm going to, we're bringing that also to our team and going to work more with at least a month to month plan um, in our leadership uh, focus. Uh, and then beyond that, and I'm sure it's been said a few times here, uh, is, I think I said this earlier, I went away feeling settled. I, as I've been with the company a long time. Uh, I went away feeling settled that Jenny is an outstanding strategist. She's consulting with the field 
and she's not rushing in. She's, she's taking in um, our feedback. She's using her experience to carefully strategize. So I can go back to my business and just focus there and not be concerned about Manitech as a whole and bring some of these tools um, forward um, for developing, you know, and supporting my team or our joint teams. Uh, and uh, yeah, I feel like a, I feel a hundred percent confident in Jenny and uh, like uh, Christy said there, uh, I'm a hundred percent committed to put my full energy behind her. And that means being in action, right, Christy? <laughs> So that's me. Thank you so much, Diana. And Karen, did you want to, is there anything left incomplete for you? Post phone call? Bit of background noise there. As you that's say, right. family around. That's right. Um, but there were a couple of points I wanted to say is that has been further reinforced by the, today's speakers that, yeah, the whole business has been um, set up. The focus now is on the business for me and producing the avatar of your business partner or your customer that you're looking for helps you focus on what you need to do, what you need to develop skills and to pass those skills on to other people as well, help them along the way. But I really enjoyed the way the whole weekend, um, meeting my new sister was my roommate. Uh, Marie was just beautiful, having time with her and uh, what's coming into focus is bringing the vision into focus of the whole business, sneaking past there, and to be able to feed more kids and put the time to really move this into action and, and make a difference to many. Um, looking forward to it. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think all of us would nod our heads in agreement that it's real easy to love Manatech for our technology and for our wellness technology. Um, and it really, Manatech deserves us to love it for it, the business opportunity too. And, you know, we can't limit our blessings that we offer people to just one or the other. You know, people, I actually think, well, I probably could debate this, but they equally need, you know, the opportunity to hear from us about having some freedom with their income, no matter what their goals are, as their wellness. So, um, we'll have, give everybody the opportunity to go around again. You've done a brilliant job today. I'm very grateful. Um, I, feel, I feel engaged and um, part of it. So, that, I mean, I think that's the goal of this is to make, not everybody can make it to one place in Australia. We're a big country and we need to make sure the education and inspiration goes as far as needed. And there is, uh, Manitech has already sent out the link of the documents from the weekend. Um, it's a Dropbox link you just click it and download. But if you don't have that, you can message me on Australasian Connector or my email, however, usually contact me and I can get that link to you. So we'll go around again. And um, I don't know if Aaron's there or if Lee would like to speak. Okay, so we'll, we'll skip Aaron until he's back. Um, but I guess we'll finish off with, you know, what's in your heart and um, I, your commitment to Manatech and what you'd advise others to go forward committing. We'd like to go, Diana. We'll go alphabetical. There you oh, go. Okay. Uh, so, what's in my heart? Look, Manatech's in my heart. That's why I've been around all of this time uh, and stuck around through um, the cycles of business. Uh, what I, I think I've been pretty clear. What my I'm already in action in terms of what I'm doing going forward with my business. Uh, it's just, yeah, to, to step forward in a more uh, focused, uh, goal-orientated way uh, that also passes on this education and tools to my team. Because, you know, ultimately, yes, you know, I mean, this, the business is about, you know, supporting me in my goals, but I'm also in it because I love supporting people in, in theirs. So um, does that answer your question? Yes. Yes. No, absolutely. Okay, good. I think people could feel that. And I'm not sure if Aaron can hear me. Just unmute yourself. 
We're just going around now to finalize and what's in your heart for others to leave people with today in regards to the MBA and partnering with Manatech. Well, I'm going to leave it to Lee to let <laughs> to tell everybody what's in, that, what's in our heart to um, how we as a team, we're going to be moving forward. Yeah, um, yeah I just think we just felt really privileged and honoured um, to be able to um, go to such an event. Um, we don't dream of the company for a year and um, it's been a, a lot of growth for us and I've believed in the product for a lot of years. It's been um, in and out of my family for a while and I didn't realise that when I joined on to the weight loss program that it was going to be Manatech, the journey game. So it's, um, yeah, it's been quite interesting how it's crossed my path. But um, yeah, it's just been um, exciting to sort of come on board and, and, and mix with other leaders that have been um, for the likes of Danny, you know, 20 years and all the others that, you know, you've, you've got some rich history with the company and we just feel excited that we've come on board where it, where it is at the moment now and we feel very invigorated with what we participated in and the connection and the family um, values that are coming through, it's just the relationship with the company and the products speak for themselves. Um, but I think our journey has been believing in ourselves as entrepreneurs and the company has definitely put the tools into our hands and the confidence in our hearts that, um, yeah, that this can you know, happen for anyone that wants to just apply themselves and um, to be able to believe in ourselves with the personal development that happened over the weekend as well. And that's coming strong through the company and James and Naomi are fantastic with that as well. Just, um, believing in us and developing us as a company. And I, I can just see where it's coming right back from the very start. So it's coming from the very core of the corporate. So it was just um, amazing to connect with the heart of, you know, the pulse of the company. And so it, it's got everything. It's like the strategies, the marketing, you know, as I said, the tools, um, believing in us as people, no matter where we are in our journey, like we're newbies. So um, we just felt really, excited when we come away from the conference like yeah that we can now put all this into other people's hands it doesn't matter where they're at in their journey as long as um yeah people want to give it a go it's like everything's put in place there's it's just a matter of applying it all and so yeah i'm yeah I'm pretty pretty pumped well done, well done. <laughs> congratulations be there, be there next year anybody on this call be there be there be there yeah, I left the schedule out in the other room, so I don't have it with me right now. But yeah, definitely. Um, thank you so very much. And Karen, what's in uh, your heart to leave people with? Yes, look, it's absolutely a great platform to bounce off for personal development. And I've found it just interesting reflecting that this week, having been back, focusing on the business, everyone I've spoken to has brought up some problems or issues about money um, for a whole lot of reasons. And so I just think, oh, you know, it would be so good focusing on being able to help them with that side of the business. Thank you. Fantastic. Mantec is truly in its sweet spot. Christy, would you like to finish with anything? Okay, I think I spoke everything that was in my heart before, but I just want to say that um, we need to support these events. We need to support Jenny. Um, she... She can't do this alone. We can't do it alone. Um, it's a team effort from from every which way, and yeah, we just got to um, just educate people on this industry. We've got the best vehicle for in this industry to um, and the best products to use as a vehicle, and yeah, just teach. But um, I think we need to go back to the dream. Go back to people's what they want out of life and, and start from there. And, and hopefully there was 23 people there this year. I think Jenny would like it to be tripled next year. So if we all bought two people, three people, whatever, it'll, it'll do that. And, and um, yeah, I really think we should support her. And in saying that it is August the 7th to the 9th next year, I think. So you can put oh, well that done. in a diary. Well done, Christy. Good. You came in with the money. So, 
Um, yeah, Karen's saying thank you to corporate. I'll just repeat in case someone it, someone missed it that the document download is comprehensive and amazing. And it's perfect timing because I'm just resetting our team system. So um, I'm glad I had a delay and I'll just be integrating those into it. And um, next week, as I said, bring your guests. Give yourself a challenge. If you were inspired today, so everybody who's been to the MBA are already inspired and they've handed the, the baton over to you or included you in the race. And you know who can you invite next week? Because Kevin Robbins will be speaking about on the business and is it worth it? Um, Pauline, it's, uh, it's not in the document library. It's in uh, a Dropbox folder because it's a lot of files. So if, if you can't wait till I upload the video of this, which will probably be tomorrow, you can email me or message me on um, Facebook on the Australasian Connect page and I can get it to you there. So have a great, thank you everybody who contributed. You guys did a fabulous job. Everybody's in their heart and inspired and with you in that experience. And that's the best that we can offer on this call. So thank you all. And um, we'll see you next week with Kevin. See you everybody. Thanks for being here. See ya.